it's just way too nice of a day here in the river to go inside and work. So I'm out on the deck. So hence the difference in background. Had a Bible study the other day, and an interesting question came up about 1 Thessalonians 5.19. And this is a very famous verse, do not quench the spirit. And the question was, what does quench mean? And to the person, they all agreed that the only way they use the word quench is to quench your thirst, which means, they would say, to satisfy your thirst. So they cannot figure out at all what it means to quench the spirit. So let's take a look at it. There's actually several problems with this verse in translating. One is that it's a very famous verse, and translators are very slow to uh, change the wording of a famous verse. My guess is if this word quench occurred in some narrative somewhere, it would have been changed in most translations a long time ago. Secondly, it doesn't immediately mean something. Don't quench the spirit. What does that mean? And thirdly, the word spenute from spenumi has a very interesting range of meanings, and you got to choose between the range and the meanings. But first of all, if you just look at the different translations, you can see them struggling. NASB is quench, ESV is quench, CSB is stifle. I kind of like that. The Net Bible is do not extinguish the spirit, which... Can anyone extinguish the spirit? I, I, I don't think you can extinguish the spirit. Uh, NLT has stifle. Interesting, I don't talk much about the TEV, but do not restrain the Holy Spirit. When you go down to look at its range of meaning, you can see the basic definition is to cause an action state or faculty to cease to function or to cease to exist. Well, but there's a range here. A is to extinguish, to put out. That means to completely cause something to cease. Okay, so that's where the extinguish comes from. But you can also soften a bit and to quench, stifle, or suppress. That means you don't put it completely out, but you suppress it. Okay, so that's why you get these range of meanings from stifle to extinguish, and so the question, well, what is it? Well, first of all, you got to really be sure in translating work that because the verse is so famous that you do need to change it. But I think you do need to change it. I just don't think it, it means anything to the modern speaker. And the question is, what is Paul saying? To completely put out the Spirit or to suppress the effect of the Spirit's life work in your life. And I, I think it's that meaning. I think it's got to be uh, this bead on here to quench, stifle, or to suppress. So stifle or ex uh, suppress, I think, are very good translations. Extinguish is too strong. So it's a pretty interesting verse to translate for all three of those reasons. It's a famous verse. Quench for most people, has a meaning that doesn't fit the context. And the Greek word actually has a range of meanings that allows, well, I should say forces you to make a decision. So what would you go with?